Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on, guys? Sergeant Moose here, back with another Detectives Chainsaw Massacre video, and oh boy, guys, we have some news to share with you today. So some of you may have already seen, Gun has shown on their Twitter that they're going to be introducing some Grandpa perk changes into the game. Now, a lot of us kind of had the idea or assumed that this was going to be coming eventually. Uh, we just didn't know how it was going to happen, but it has been confirmed. It is happening, and they've already laid out how they're going to do that. So within the past few updates, guys, we've seen some big skill tree changes, some perks shaken up on both sides, all members, victim or family. Something has been shaken. Everybody's have to, you know, switch their builds. It has been a meta shakeup, and it has been welcomed, at least for myself, who's put thousands of hours into this game plan since day one, and I know a lot of you guys too. It's nice, you know, it's a breath of fresh air to see some differences to the skill tree, but in my personal opinion, guys, this one here with the grandpa changes is a massive change, possibly even bigger than the skill tree rework in terms of how you're going to have to approach the game. So I think this is going to change the pacing of the game a little bit more, even more than the skill tree reworks. And if you want to say it, guys, I'll say it for you. Whoever doesn't want to say it, this is nothing but a nerf to family. However you want to twist it and turn it, it doesn't matter. It all boils down to it is a nerf to the family. And what I mean by that, guys, is it is a nerf to how this current meta has been played in the game and how it has been played since day one. So as most of you know, guys, this game has gotten really competitive since day one. And, you know, a few of the big perks that family uses are exterior alarms, you know, suffocating grip now with the grapple meta for victims. Perks like that, but they're going to be changed, and they're no longer going to be accessible at level 1. So we'll not only talk about those, but we'll talk about the other Grandpa perks as well. So, the changes that are going to be made, guys, as they say, the team is changing how Grandpa perks unlock and function during matches. Read about it here. As mentioned in our Skill Tree Reworks community hub post, the team has been working on how to make Grandpa perks function differently in-game. We aim to both freshen up gameplay and give more utility to feeding Grandpa, a mechanic that hasn't quite hit the mark as we intended. And to reflect on that a little bit myself, guys, yes, it has not hit the mark uh, quite a bit, but this is not really changing how the perks are used, it's just changing positions on where you can get them. We've decided to place Grandpa perks in a certain level categories. These levels will be then tied to Grandpa's family bond level in order for it to unlock and proc. A level 1 Grandpa perk will only become available to family once they feed Grandpa up to level 1. We wanted Grandpa to play a bigger role in each match, and we are excited to see how family players strategize their builds accordingly. So again, guys, this, come back, this comes back to only family players, because now... With the exterior alarms and suffocating grip changes, which have become crutch perks in the game for family. And as a family main, I will say they have. Uh, but let, let's keep moving on here. Players should keep in mind that if your team only brings level 3 grandpa perks, none of them will unlock until your team has fed grandpa to get level 3. These perks would then unlock all at the same time. Now here's the list, guys. So at level 1 grandpa, you get animal farm, experience stalkers, well, 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 and wind doom. And the best perk out of that pool right there for level 1, guys, in my personal opinion, is well, well, well. So it is nice to see at least that one's still going to be accessible at level 1. And you also have Wind Doom for the likes of, you know, maps with windows uh, that you can also unlock at level 1 as well. Now for level 2, we have Always in Sync, Barge to the Point, Brute Strength, Suffocating Grip, and Swing for the Fences. So, of course, we know the best one in that pool, I think most would agree with, is Suffocating Grip. So it is level 2. That's not too bad, in my personal opinion, but we do have the level 3 perks, and of course you guys know what's going to be on this list. Don't have all day, excited grandpa, exterior alarms, nobody escapes hell, and well-fed youngins. So there you have it, guys. Basically, what this means is that for the likes of suffocating grip, you're not going to ever be able to unlock this on grandpa until you reach level 2. For exterior alarms, you're never going to be able to activate this until you have reached level 3. Now, as most of you guys know... With the Victim Rush meta, and of course I'm going to speak like a family man here, with the Victim Rush meta, it can be extremely difficult to reach level 3. And if you do reach level 3, it can be difficult to maintain level 3. Now, I am not... I am not opposed to, you know, switching up builds, starting to work with blood builds and things like that, because I have done that in the past, uh, when the game first came out, before this rush meta kind of became a thing, and I actually really did like the blood builds, but 
you're still going to have to be careful with them because there are, you know, a lot of victims out there with Agitator. Of course, Maria with her new ability as well, too, uh, coming into the game that's going to try to keep Grandpa under level 3 because victims know that you can only get exterior alarms on level 3 and only get suffocating grip on level 2. And of course I seem to be talking a lot about exterior and suffocating guys because that's just how the meta is in this game. There's no doubt about it that these two perks are part of the meta and they make the game easier for family and they give them a better shot at winning it's simple as that and i know a lot of people are going to say that you well you know you're gonna have to change your play style now it's going to be different but you know it's been almost a year that this game has been out and this is kind of the way it's been and i'm not opposed to changes but guys this is a massive massive change to the game and a massive nerf to family so with that said, guys, I know there's going to be people that do not agree with me on this or, you know, may question, uh, you know, my thoughts about this. But, you know, when Gunn said that they were going to make changes to the game, uh, you know, Wes and Matt and a few of them said, you know, specifically that they were going to make minor, minor tweaks and minor little fine tunes here and there. You know, they're going to turn the dial just slightly just to see how things work. This, this guy's is cranking the dial, in my personal opinion. But... Like I said, the only thing is that's different between this and the skill tree rework is that the skill tree rework affected both sides. And, you know, you might not like one of your characters on, you know, one side, you know, their perks or in different places, whether it's victim or family. It either negatively or positively affected both sides. For the grandpa rework, this is only negatively affecting family and positively affecting victims. So my only... My only thing here with this, guys, is what, um, you know, what changes could be made to victim side to kind of coincide with this Grandpa rework, guys. Because the only thing I'm seeing here now is that, you know, victims are still going to be able to play the game the exact same way that they have in the past. Whether it's rushing, you know, stabbing Grandpa, whatever it may be. But the family's simply just going to be at more of a disadvantage now, especially with, you know, the grappling meta in the game right now and suffocating grip. But, you know, as someone who's played this game a ton, guys, I wanted to put my thoughts out there. And I know a lot of folks aren't going to agree with me, whether your family mains, victim mains, whatever have you. Uh, this is a big change. And again, I'm welcome to it. I'm going to try it out. You know, we'll work around it. We'll build around it. It'll be fun. I'm, I love meta shakeups and stuff like that. I'm just worried that, you know, I don't want it to sway too far in one direction. So, again, not confirming that it's going to. We'll have to test it out. But nonetheless, guys, this is coming with the July 16th update. So it's going to be in the game here in less than a week. These changes are going to be into the game. So we're all going to have to go in. We're going to have to try it out, see how things go. But, yeah, that's the video. That's my thoughts on it, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said if you disagree that's perfectly fine let me know your thoughts down in the comments below my name's sergeant boost thanks so much for tuning in we'll see you guys on the next one man take care